Hello there, this is Chris Love of the Information Lab. Um, just continuing our Good to Great series. So today I wanted to look at a problem with filtering that you'll sometimes have and, and let you know how to work around that. I get a lot of the ideas for these posts just from things that I'm doing day to day with Tableau and I see tips and tricks and use tips and tricks that I think uh, you guys would find interesting. So let's start building something out that I was building today. What I was doing was looking at something like this with subcategory and sales. And what I wanted to do was find all the sales that were above the average. So in this case, those uh, what eight sales from copiers upwards. How do we go about this? Well, I chose to go about it by using a level of detail calculation. And so I started creating a calculated field. So let's look at this. So we'll call it LOD filter. And I started my LOD calculation with a curly brace and then took the sum of sales. Now, if you're not familiar with this LOD notation, this is exactly the same as doing fixed colon sum of sales. It's fixing the level of detail across the whole data set. So I'm getting the sum of sales across the whole data set. By removing that, I'm doing exactly the same thing, and this is just shorthand for that. And then I'm going to do just a count distinct across the same full data set using the same curly braces, and I'm going to do a count distinct of subcategory. So by dividing my total sum of sales by the number of subcategories, what I'm expecting is that I'll get this 135 answer. So let's just drag that into my detail level. And you can see that this center in my tooltip 135129 is exactly the value I want. So that's great. So the next part that I wanted to do is filter on this to find where my sum of sales are greater than my average. Now, this causes a problem. Well, the first problem is that I cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregates. I've got an aggregate calculation on this side, sum, and my LOD calcs aren't yet aggregates. So I'm just going to wrap these in, say, an attribute. I could wrap them in a sum. There's only one value here, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the attribute will do that for me. So my sum of sales are greater than the single value of 135129 that I just calculated. Fantastic. So we've calculated our filter. If this is true, then these are the values I want to keep. So let's now drag that up to my filters. And here we hit the problem. You won't just encounter this with LOD calcs. You will encounter it whenever you use summed measures within a calculated field to do a Boolean expression, to create a true-false expression. You cannot use it in here. So where am I going wrong? How do we get around this so that I can use this? I can use it on pages. And I can see that my false records are these ones, my true records are here. So that calculation is working. Well, let's show you how I go around fixing this. I'm going to edit the calculation and just say, if this is true, then I want a value of one. Else, I want a value of zero. Fantastic. So this is going to turn it into a number. It's going to return one if it's true, zero if it's false. Still no dice. I still can't drag that to filters. So the last step I need to do is turn it into a continuous green pill. Green pills are much more likely to go on your filters. Now I pick that up. I can drop that on my filter and filter to the ones. Super. Obviously my average line's moved. So let's just get rid of that average line. And let's fix it. I'll tell you what, let's add an average line based on my level of detail calculation I added down here. There we go. So 
So we can now see that this level of detail is calculated in this line. These are the values that are above it. Drag that off. We add the extra ones in. Okay. So a really nice, simple way of calculating. First of all, a difference between averages and LED calculations, but that's by the by. The trick I really want to show you was converting this filter from a Boolean, which can't go on a filter shelf, into a continuous numeric value that can. And that's really a good way of getting those onto the filter shelf. Thanks for listening. Uh, tune in next time when I'll have another tip. Bye-bye.